Hi, I am Anand. Today I am going to discuss about the reflection of plane waves with the help of Bayesian principle. The reflection of plane waves is a most important subtopic of wave optics and wave optics is a most important chapter of physics of plus 12. Let us develop the colors. Let's see. Derivation of laws of reflection of a plane wave. AB. This is AB. AB is the incident plane wave rod. C is the refracted plane wave front P P dash separate the medium 1 and 2 B1 is the velocity of the light or light wave in medium 1 V2 is the velocity of light or light wave in medium 2 When waves or light waves move from B to C in time t at the same time light wave moves from A to E. So the value of BC is V1 into T. T is the time taken to move the light or light waves from B to C. Similarly, here also T is the time taken to move the light or light wave from A to E. At the same time, light waves or light moves from A to E in medium 2. If we consider about the right triangle ABE, then sin I, here I is the angle of incident, sin I equal to BC by AC in right triangle ABC. Similarly, in uh, right triangle AEC, R is the angle of refraction AE by AC in right triangle AEC. So, if we consider about right triangle ABE and AEC, get then now from right triangle ABC and AEC sin I by sin R equal to BC by A E and BC equal to here B1 into T and A E equal to B2 into T so we cancelled out T T cancelled out T T then we get V1 by V2. So suppose this is the equation number 1. Let C be the velocity of light or wave or light wave in vacuum. Therefore, refractive index of the medium 1 equal to velocity of light or light wave in medium 1 sorry in vacuum by velocity of light or light wave in medium 2 equal to refractive index of medium 1. So suppose that refractive index of medium 1 is n1 then we write down here n1 equal to c by b1. Here c is the velocity of light or light wave in vacuum and uh, here b1 is the velocity of 
light or light wave is medium one. So the refractive index of medium one is n one. Similarly, refractive index of medium two is n two. Then we write down here velocity of light or light wave in vacuum by velocity of light wave in medium two. So therefore, n two equal to c by v two. So let n one be the refractive index of the medium one, and uh, let n two be the refractive index of medium two. As per earlier calculation, we get here v one by v two equal to n two by n one equal to sin i by sin r. After cross multiplication, we get. Uh, n2 into sin r equal to n1 into sin i. So n1 into sin i equal to n2 into sin r. This is known as the second law of refraction of light or light wave. Or this one is also known as the Snell law. So we derive. The second law of refraction of light or light wave with the help of plane wave, and uh, we for this we take the help of Huygens principle. So this is the exact derivation of second law of refraction of light. Once again, I recap: A V is the incident wave front, C is the refracted wave front light or light waves moves from b to c in time t with the velocity v1 similarly light or light wave moves from a to e in time t with the velocity v2 in medium 2 the refractive index of medium 1 is n1 and the refractive index of medium 2 is n2 velocity of light or light wave in medium 2 is less than the medium 1 so after the proper calculation we get or prove the snell law or second law of refraction of light so i am going to cover this class or thanks to all of you to stay with me in the last details of this sub topics hope that the details of the sub topic will be useful to all our students who are studying in class 12 and all audience who are interested in physics once again i thanks to all of you thank you very much to stay with me